First, I want to start off, let's go back to last April. Uh, we were at Westside High School during the day two of the draft. About 60 plus people in the room. Just tell me about the moment you knew you were being selected. Man, I mean, it was unbelievable. Didn't know who I was going to be selected by, so I was nervous, you know, super nervous. Um, and then once the call came in, I heard my phone ring. All I remember was like everything just went went silent. I ain't hit nobody. I ain't hit nothing. And then I just heard him say, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is the Houston Texans and we going to draft you with his next pick. And it was everything, all the emotions just came up. It was definitely surreal being able to hear everybody just screaming Houston Texans. <laughs> yeah. Instead of the commissioner, the Texans had receiver DeAndre Hopkins reveal your name. Uh, how valuable was being able to defend an all-pro receiver like Hopkins during your first NFL camp? He's a great receiver, you know. So just like I said before to some other people, you know, you got to go out there every day ready to practice. And go out there and just practice like he's not DeAndre Hopkins to you. Before the draft, you had been at Garden City and Kentucky. Uh, talk to me about your mentality during the long summer workouts with JUCO, even at Kentucky, compared to now, like the middle of a pandemic right now, and you're preparing for year two. Man, just basically always working, you know, um, never getting complacent, you know, just, just work and everything I do. Um, like the past schools, I was always working then, so it just never stopped. I, I got a big chip on my shoulder, so I'm, I'm going to keep it that way. The new CBA for the next decade it includes an extra 17th game in the regular season. It expands the playoff format. Uh, do you think an extra game is necessary, or do you think being healthy for the playoffs is more important? I would definitely say being being healthy for the playoffs is more important. Uh, the extra game, I mean, we already got extra games if you make it to the playoffs. So, Were you dealing with any injuries at the end of last season? Uh, uh, my ankle was bothering me a little bit, but, you know, I was just basically trying to, like, fight through all that during the playoffs. So it's already a long season. So with them adding it and making it longer, it's just, you know, it's just going to take a big toll on everybody's body. Speaking of the 17th game, your 17th NFL game, not including like preseason, you scored your first touchdown uh, against the eventual Super Bowl champion Chiefs. When you got your hands on that football, that blocked punt, and then all you saw was tunnel vision into the end zone. Once I seen the ball uh, get blocked and I was just trying to time it, to where when it bounced, I can scoop it and run. And I wasn't even thinking about, like, diving on it or anything. Like, my whole mentality once I seen the ball was pick it up and go straight to the end zone. And then once I got the ball, I was like, I'm not letting nobody catch me. You know what I'm saying? So that's why in the video you see me going a different way instead of going straight to the end zone because I thought some of my teammates was the Kansas City Chiefs, but it was my teammates behind me, but I wasn't letting nobody catch me. Last question I want to ask you, man. Like, how are you doing during this time? Tell me how you're managing to stay in shape and prepare for this upcoming season. Always working. You know, like I said, just always working. Whether I'm at home or I still work out with um, a couple of people. So, you know, I just, I'm just i just making sure I find a way to get my work in. And I, I, I always been this way. So, again, thank you for coming on, man. 219 Rays. Definitely looking forward to seeing you this upcoming season, man. Again, thank you for coming on. Oh, yeah. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. Gary Native, Lonnie Johnson, Houston Texans, second round draft pick 2019. Make sure to tune into the On Air Mobcast on all podcast platforms and listen to the full interview with cornerback Lonnie Johnson and my impression on the first two episodes of ESPN's documentary, The Last Dance.